Hey, what's going on guys? It's Trek YT here or Nick back with another brand new video guys today I wanted to show you guys a very useful world edit trick Which will allow you to make floating islands like the one you see behind me in under 10 minutes Now, to build your own floating island like that, it's actually relatively simple and it uses world edit and it uses a really cool trick. Now, the trick in world edit involves using saplings and then converting the leaves and the wood into sand, then transforming that into stone. So we're gonna run through how to do that. So we're gonna start off with our oak sapling right in the middle. And what we want out of this is a large oak tree. We want one of the big ones, not one of the tiny, tiny ones like this. So once you get yourself a big tree like this now we're gonna take our other sapling our jungle sapling we're gonna come down to this trunk and we're actually gonna branch off by two so we're gonna put one there we're gonna put one there we're gonna put one there and then we're gonna put one more right there and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bone meal all of these as well they should pretty much build all the same size I guess tree but it doesn't matter if one's bigger or smaller so you should get something that looks along the lines of this it looks like a bunch of trees put together but this is actually going to be our foundation towards building our own custom island but we do need to do one more thing and that's we need to add one more tree right in the center so we're gonna find the center of the tree right here we're gonna come in here put a dirt block then we're gonna put a jungle sapling and then we're gonna bone meal that one as well and now what we're going to do is we're gonna change all of this to sand so we need to actually make ourselves a selection around the entire tree so we're gonna make a selection there and then we're also gonna make a selection over here now we need to go ahead and use our world edit we're gonna do slash slash replace and we're gonna target the leaves first which is 18 so that targets any type of leaf and then we're gonna change that into to sand and you're gonna notice that that sand will fall down in a very random pattern and now we're gonna go ahead and change all of the logs so the ID for that is 17 and now that we have changed all of the leaves in the wood to sand we get something that looks like this and this kind of looks like our custom or floating island but it's upside down and it's sand so we need to change it a little bit so before I flip it up or change any of the sand into some stone I like to smooth things out because this is one of our last chances to do that so I'll come in here with my sand block and kind of smooth out some of those rougher edges and kind of make them a little bit more smooth and what I mean by that is if I have something that looks like this it looks way way too boxy I may take out a block add a block or add a couple of blocks to kind of just make it a little bit more organic and make it look just a little bit better and a little bit more I don't know it just I don't like it when it looks all that square so once we have gone through and kind of changed all of the sand to make it as smooth and kind of to our liking this is where we are going to go ahead and change all of that sand into stone we still have that selection so all we have to do is slash slash replace sand and we're going to turn it into stone and now we have pretty much our floating island pretty bare minuscule but it's upside down so we need to go ahead and change that so we're actually going to go ahead and make a closer selection over here so we're going to make a point right here and then we're going to go on the other side and make another point point. and now what we're going to do is we're going to stand right in the center and we are going to slash slash copy and then we're gonna fly a little bit away and we're gonna do slash slash rotate 0 180 0 and then we can just go ahead and paste that wherever we want and now we have our right side up floating island it's pretty basic right now there's no crazy details on it but we do have a pretty good structure now if we're gonna add some more detail to this I like to do a little bit more of world data I like to go ahead and try to add some dirt and grass on top of that but I don't really want to place any of that by hand so I'm gonna use the slash cylinder command to place dropping sand in a very organic and random pattern to then go ahead and change that sand afterwards into dirt and grass so the command for that is slash slash sill and then we have to do our block which is sand and then we need to do the radius of our cylinder which I'm gonna choose six and then our height of one and press enter and now you're gonna notice that some sand fell down and we're gonna do this a couple of times to make it as random as possible and we end up with something that looks like this and now what we need to do is kind of change that sand into some dirt so all we have to do is make ourselves a selection on either side and then do that command again slash slash replace sand 
for dirt. And now that we have it changed into dirt, we're gonna do one more cylinder right in the center because I wanna blanket the entire thing in some grass. So we're going to change our radius of our cylinder to 10 and then we're gonna let it drop and then we're gonna do that replace. But this time, instead of changing it to dirt, we're gonna go ahead and change it to grass. And now we have something that looks like this. It looks like a pretty basic floating island. I would say almost like a noob floating island because the transformation from stone to dirt to grass is pretty abrupt and doesn't look all that great. So we need to go ahead and smooth out some of these edges and then smooth out some of the blocks used in the build. So what I do first is I take my grass and I kind of go around the outside, smoothing out some of these edges, maybe adding in some more outcrops of my own to make it look a little bit better. And I kind of just do this in a very random pattern wherever I think that there's a little bit too much empty space or something that just doesn't look all that great to my own eye, I'll add some of that stuff in to make it a little bit better. And once I've added all of the grass around the outside, I don't like how the stone is just kind of right there. I want to blend the dirt down into the stone. So literally all I'm going to do is I'm going to take some dirt and I'm going to replace some of these stone blocks in a very nice zigzag pattern. So what I mean by that is my dirt's going to go up, then down, then up, then down. It's going to end up looking really nice and it's going to blend that stone into that dirt very, very easily. So once you're done blending it down, it's going to look something like this. It literally goes up, then down, up, then down down, up, then down, all the way around, and it really makes it look a lot better because it's blending in much nicer. And now the final detail that I like to add is I like to change up the stone because I think it's a little bit boring being only stone. So we can use some world edit to replace some of those blocks with some other stone blocks. So all we need to do is we need to again make ourselves a selection of the entire island or of the entire selection of stone. And now all we have to do is the slash slash replace command. And if you didn't know, you can actually go ahead and replace more than just stone. You can actually replace things with multiple blocks by just putting a comma in between that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one zero comma, then we're gonna do one five comma, and then we're gonna do four, which those are all the block IDs for cobblestone and a site in regular stone. And what it's gonna do is it's going to make a random pattern dividing up all of those into like one third of the amount of blocks. So 33% of that's gonna be cobblestone, 33% of it's gonna be andesite, and 33% of it is gonna be normal stone. And it adds a really, really nice texture to the blank stone that was there before, and it just makes the overall build a little bit more detailed. And then lastly, what you can do is you can go ahead and take some cobblestone walls and you can actually add it onto some of these points down here and it's going to make that even more detailed. Now we don't want to overcrowd it and do too many of them but it does look really nice because it kind of makes these shards come down to much more of a point than just with using a full block. And then you can also go ahead and add in some stone walls in some of these corners right here where you think it looks a little bland because again it does add a little bit more detail and just makes the build overall look a lot better. And then you kind of get a result something like this. I don't want to add too many stone walls in there because I don't want to take away from the actual build and I don't want to overcrowd it. So I only add them in here and there. And then that's pretty much our floating island. And obviously you can go ahead and you can add in some details like adding some trees, adding some flowers, adding some more stuff onto the island. But this video was solely for the purpose of making the actual floating island. So I ended up adding in some details, added a tree and added a little bit of detail which took me literally like five minutes to do so in all this entire floating island right here took me a total of probably about 10 minutes and that's all thanks to world edit i would love to see what you guys are able to create with this simple little world edit trick using saplings and being able to make some really really cool floating islands because honestly you could do this on a much larger scale with a lot more trees and make a absolutely massive floating island or you can make a bunch of little floating islands and put them all next to each other and make a little floating paradise. You know, you could really do anything with this. And honestly, I think I would do this technique over doing it by hand just for the sole purpose that it is so much faster and the results are amazing. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's video and I hope it was helpful again. And if you guys did enjoy today's video, definitely show your support down below. And while you guys are down there, might as well hit that subscribe button. But as always, guys, I love you all. See you guys next time. Peace out.